back, baby. Welcome to TEDx Titans, episode one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six episodes. Numero six, six. I did the shocker. My bad. Math, math is uh, not our shocker. Too. By the way, by the way, on Tuesdays we match it. We match it. And, and, and Tuesday we, match day. Well, consistency. Consistency. You know, Look at this. Both gray suit, both yep. light blue. Shirt. And, and we got the stripe. We got the, the stripes the red, too. Reddish tie. Did, we match the wristbands. Oh, you know, I I just got. But my, you have two bands on. I got my my Batman mm. and my Wolf. Batman today, and Wolf. So. See, I'm boring. I just got who's got my money. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You gotta be a wolf to go get <laughs> go get that money. That's right, baby. So Morgan, what do we got today? We, we got a, we got a good one, a hot one. Yeah. For anybody, this is probably more specific to sales, but that's right. Sales is the lifeblood of business. So, business is. So, what are we covering today? Yeah, great question, Matt. So, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Good to have you on here. Pre appreciate everyone that tunes in. By the way, you know we we put the show together because we wanted to figure out how to give back to people and, and share what's working, what's not working, because. We're human beings just like everyone else. We're still trying to figure this out every single day. And sometimes it's a bitch. But today, if you figure out today's topics, your business will flourish. Because we are talking about how to set appointments that actually show up mm. on time mm. and ready to buy. Okay, so we're, we're talking about filling the pipeline. Why, why did you, you, so you set this topic, Matt set this topic, by the way. Why did you want to talk about appointments? I mean, today? it's such a hot topic. I mean, we're working with a ton of different industries, yeah. you know, business to business, business to consumer. And the thing we get, the thing we get a lot is, man, how do I set appointments? And not just how do I set appointments? Cause you know, you can make a phone call, but like, yeah, 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 I'll show up. How do you set appointments that actually show up? Because mm -hmm. once you set an appointment, you allow, you can do a presentation, you can do a demo, present your product and you can make a sale. It's yeah, a leading sure. indicator of what's going to happen in the business. You're hiding. So, you're hiding. I'm hiding. Yeah. We're, I'm you're hiding. You're in now though. Don't worry. So that's what we want. want. We want to know how to set appointments. Cause we've talked about, you know, we talked to people in the auto industry, the, the equipment industry. We talked to people in like, you know, even just selling cell phones in a retail space, mm -hmm. you know, that someone will call in, say, I want to come pick up the iPhone. How do you how do you actually confirm and lock that in so that person shows up to your business, spends the money with you, invests in you? Mm -hmm. How do you do that? And there's there's a process that we've worked through over the years studying Grant, working with Grant's team and then, you know, Morgan's team and how they do it. A step by step process that allows people to not just set appointments, but set an appointment that actually hooks and they actually want to show up. To what you have to offer and what you have to present strong. so this is your strong suits morgan so why don't you walk us through the steps on how to set appointments that actually show up yeah great 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 point and thank you for setting that up see this, this is what executives do guys they just tee things up for you so you can knock it out of the park so i mean he, well you know i would say step one step one guys is you need you need a lead you need someone to talk to and and you know without totally throwing it back at you this is this is where marketing comes into place this is where prospecting comes into place you know we, we do a um, we do a three-day conference in Miami it's called the 10x business boot camp I've been to you know three or four of them and uh, let, let me tell you guys like the first thing that's seen in everything is a business cycle which means I need prospects I need people to talk to and one thing I've observed like one mistake I've made I don't even know how many times over the years one thing I've, we've had our guys make and everyone makes is that we, we end up calling the same people over and over and over again it's like if i was trying to be a baker eventually i got to get new flour yeah you know if, if i'm a farmer eventually unless i use so many chemicals that it's not even food anymore but that's a different podcast that, that's related to my just kidding but maybe um i gotta i gotta i gotta exchange the soil a little bit, right i need fresh so so step one is actually hey i need people to call am i adding new prospects to the pipeline every single day like in our office i i measure my guys and it's, it's a daily activity how many new people did you even enter into your ecosystem that you could call i, I guess i see a question by mcdave right, it'd be an incredible question. opportunity for you folks to mark yourself Oh, it, it involved in the Ottawa fashion show. Matt loves fashion, actually. Yeah. He is a fashionista. So <laughs> make sure to connect with Matt on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, let me tell you, I, I remember him walking down the runway this one time. He had this badass pair of heels, yeah, green no. hair. It was unbelievable. No, that's a different world, man. No. <laughs> D different conversation. Yep. But but anyway, step step one is to, you know, is to really get people there. And this is something that sales and marketing have to work side by side. I mean, you're doing a lot right now just to generate the people to talk to. Talk, talk to us about, like... You know, some of the things you're working on to generate people for the business, right? Clients and also staff members, because every business owner has that one common problem. Man, I need to get great people. Where, where do you find people to call in the first place? 
Yeah, well, like Morgan said, it's a pairing of sales and marketing. So sales has to do their job, but they're prospecting. Like our sales team is expected to do their own prospecting, find their own leads. Mm -hmm. But we got to reinforce that. We got to back that up. And that's where marketing comes in. So we invest pretty heavily in generating leads for the sales team that they can call on top of the prospecting that they already do. Part of that involves uh, just a simple Google campaign. So if someone mm -hmm. types in sales training or business right. training or even Grant Cardone's name, our ad pops up, they go to our landing page, boom, that leads go to, goes directly to Morgan sales team. The other thing we do is we put on free events. Yep. Like we have coming up next week, Mastering Objections 2.0, sign up for it, it's completely free. That's another lead gen opportunity for us. We're promoting it, we're spending ad dollars on it, we're driving people to a free event, a free offer, yep. providing value ahead of time. All those leads go to the sales team. So that's what we're that's what we're looking to do. That's what we're doing. That's how we support the sales team. So those were those were leads coming. But the question is now, once you have the lead, back to you, Morgan. How do you actually set that appointment that shows up? Well, how did okay? So so just so you guys know, I'm dropping the uh, oh I can't oh whatever. I, I'm trying to drop the link so everyone can actually attend the webinar. But okay, good. So so step one, guys, is is I got to get someone on the phone. And, and just to really understand what's required to get someone on the phone, I was literally, I was just actually doing a one-on-one -on -one with uh, Vanessa, one of our amazing staff members here. By the way, we're hiring for great people. So if you know someone great, you're a great person, you wanna, you wanna explode, you wanna be Superman or Superwoman, uh, send us a note, we wanna meet you. But anyways, we're looking at the stats. It takes on average for B2B eight attempts to reach a prospect, okay? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's almost more fingers than I have in my hand, okay? 48% of salespeople never follow up more than once but it takes eight attempts to get someone on the phone. So step one is realizing that like, there's no trick other than, hey, I, I gotta use volumes of contacts, okay? Yep. Now I get the person on the phone. How do I set an appointment? The first sale I gotta make, and if you guys are watching this, write this down, like th th this changed everything for me. I remember, I remember, you know, I'd cold call someone and I'd be trying to sell my product and do a great pitch and be all wonderful, but I didn't realize that I needed to sell time. The first sale that we make to get someone is, is I gotta sell time. Hey man, give me 30 seconds. Hey, I can show you 10 deals for your business. Allow me 30 seconds. Hey, I can show you the, like, like for, we, we've got a door-to-door -door business in Ontario. Yep. Um, I, I personally has sent 14 people there from social media and we've got guys that are making five, six, eight, 10, 12, 15, 18 grand a month that are 21 years old. So if yep. you want to learn more, shoot me a message on that. Um, but anyways, like, Hey, I want to show you how to make 30 grand in the next two months as a 21 year old. Give me 30 seconds. Like, I, I need a hook. I need something that's going to grab someone's attention. If you're watching this, guys, write this down. Like the number one thing you need is their attention, which means you got to sell time. Yeah. If I can't sell time, it doesn't matter what product I have. You know, oh, yeah, you know, we, we, we're the number one, uh, you know, vacuum cleaner company on the planet. And, you know, we've been around for 240. Click. Hey, uh, how's the weather in Vancouver? Click. I literally got that call recently. Mm -hmm. It was brutal. So, so I got to grab someone's attention, step one. Once I grab their attention and I, I'm going to drop some kind of giant, juicy big claim that that like is designed to pull them into my call but then i gotta qualify hey let me ask you this question to be sure i don't waste your time and, and i think this is really the part that that most salespeople miss is qualification and really finding out like does this person even have a problem that i could solve and and, and guys the purpose of the qualification is for your client it's not for you it's, it's it's for you to make sure that like do they have a problem that you can actually solve we're not trying to sell ice to eskimos here you know, maybe they need a fridge, but, but if they don't like, can you actually help them? Yeah. Because if you can't, you're not going to get a deal. And if you do, it's going to fall apart in your face and it's going to be frustrating, waste a lot of time and so on and so forth. So, you know, doing a good qualification, finding out what's important to people, why it's important to people, uh, what problems they're experiencing, who's in the decision process that will allow them to realize that number one, you're a pro number two, you actually care about helping them out really. Yep. And that's going to improve their ability to show up. And then when you say, Hey, give me 10 minutes, show up to my appointment on Thursday. They're like, you know what? Yeah, this guy can make me 50 grand a week. Uh, I will show up to that appointment. On the flip side of that, like I got a cold call today at lunch. Guy called me up. I could tell he was a good person. I picked up the phone. He's like, hey, one of your, one of your staff members told me to call you. You know, that staff member might be hanging outside the window later today. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, cool, man, what's up? And he's like, yeah, dude. And then he went into this like long pitch. And he's like, give me 10 minutes. I'm like, uh, dude, I don't think I even have a problem that you could solve. So that, I'd say that's a really big thing that most people miss is that they are not taking the time to do a good fact find and figure out does the client have a problem that you can actually solve so that would be my number one thing on the flip side you set an appointment now you need to show them up right you need to get them to show up and that's where marketing is going to come into place to you know well why don't you tell them how, well, how before we get to the marketing piece how do you what what is like there's a line you guys use mm. 
and there's like that step by step process where you send the calendar invite. Like walk us through that. And oh, then you, I'm, you then want I'm the good? Yeah, I want the. You want the step like the, by I step? I think it's five steps. But Man, walk us like through. Walk us through those step. steps. What what you guys do when you set an appointment and how you lock that in so it shows up. And then I'll share the extra thing that we do that goes above and beyond that. Man, did, uh, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, hit us. We we charge companies thousands of dollars. Yeah, exactly. That's why we drop in for free. You guys are getting it good on here. Okay, so step one. Hey, John, is there any reason short of a zombie apocalypse you wouldn't make our call? It's called a lockdown, okay? It's gonna get the client to actually take a look at their calendar and make sure that, hey, it's gonna go. Good, number two is send a calendar invite, which is simple. Number three, what we do that most people don't is say, good. Hey, did you get my calendar invite? Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Okay, good, good. Open that up and go ahead and click accept. Most people don't do this because it takes confront. It takes being willing to have someone say no. It takes being willing to have someone be like, what do you mean? It, like it takes controlling people, which you have to be willing to do in sales. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna cause them to make it show up on their calendar. Cause for me, and, and I'm sure you're the same way, if it's not on my calendar, it ain't happening no yep, matter what. Definitely not. Like my wife is like, hey babe, we got this event tonight. And I'm like, uh, dude, it ain't in my calendar. <laughs> it ain't happened tonight. Yep. Sorry, babe, like no amount of rings is gonna change that. If it's in my calendar, she knows this now. I'll just, I'll just show up and be like, ah, oh, damn, I see it there. Yep. So, so I gotta make it in the calendar. Step four is I'm gonna send a selfie video. Yep. Hey, John, Morgan here, Cardone's office. We spoke two minutes ago. Can't wait to show you 10 extra deals for your business on Tuesday at 5 p.m. I'm gonna send a video that puts a face to the name, let someone know that I'm real, right? It, it takes you out of this like kind of mature or, um, virtual world that we all seem to operate in. And, and it causes you to be a real person. And then step five, I, I'm actually gonna send them a confirmation day of, not ask if they're able to make it, but I'm gonna say, hey, I look forward to our appointment today at 5 p.m. Sure. Here's the Zoom link again. Here's the address we're meeting at. Just want to be sure you're at XYZ, you know, one, two, three street. That's that's five points of contact before the appointment even takes place. Yeah. And most people, most salespeople leave it at, uh, okay, great. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you on Thursday. Yeah. If you leave it at that, they're never going to, they're never going to show up. And we deal with this a lot. Like mm -hmm. people are like, oh, we booked 10 appointments today. Well, actually how many showed up? Yeah. So you got to get that lock in and the lock is light too. They say, you know, is there any reason other than a zombie apocalypse or Godzilla attacking Vancouver or whatever? It's fun. It's light, but it gets a person to like, you know what? I'm actually going to be there. The, the email confirmation thing is huge because it actually goes into their calendar. Yeah. And then the yes. selfie video is like, it shows, it humanizes you and humanizes your company. So on top of that, what we do is then on, as soon as that's done, we then send them some marketing material because guess what happens in the digital world? People forget about things. Mm -hmm. Your things get lost in your phone, your text messages, your emails. You got to send them something physical. So we actually created this whole document. It's a beautiful like catalog on everything to do with our training program, how it works, the support we offer, yeah. our history of our company, who Grant is, our testimonials, everything. And we, we mail this to them physically along with a handwritten note. Sometimes it's before the appointment, sometimes it's after, but either way we get this in their hands. So it's in front of them. Mm. So no matter what industry you're in, you should have something physical to send. It doesn't have to be this crazy, you know, this big thing. Give me something simple, a simple postcard, look for it. Even if it's your calls like a week away, Yeah. get this in their hands of the, of the people you're calling, the people you're interacting with, and then send even some other material. We got this thing called the 10X sales booklet that we put together, a Fire. ton of value in here. Fire that we just send out for free to connect with people. Value up front allows them to see inside our company, what we do, what we offer. You gotta get in the physical universe, guys. So many people are getting lost on their phone and yep. going down wormholes and things get, the, the, the mailbox is empty. The inbox is full, but the mailbox is empty. So send some physical collateral, get some physical collateral made for your company, send it out to people. Mm -hmm. It makes all the difference. And guess what this, this is so nice, it's just gonna sit on their desk. And if they recycle it, so what they recycle it. but. They're going to think twice before they throw something like this away. So you got to get in front of their face. And that's one way we do it. And I would highly recommend if you guys aren't doing physical collateral right now to do it, no matter what business you're in, it doesn't cost a lot of money. It's not super expensive. You don't have to spend a ton of money on getting this stuff made. You just got to do something. Oh yeah. Even if it's a postcard thing that you literally get made for five cents each, print a hundred of them, send them to every single person you talk to. And you know what? It's, it's interesting you say that about, you know, cost a lot of money because the title today is about steps to build your pipeline or fill your pipeline. And the number one we, you know, way we know how to do that is, is prospecting, setting appointments that show up on time. Something interesting, though, that, that I think a lot of people don't realize, because, you know, like our, our guys, they spend uh, their own money every month on collateral, on, on leads, on physical packages, on traveling. You know, we were just in Saskatchewan for a couple. I mean, you guys actually flew us out, but, you know, we, we bought dinner. Right. But our, our, our guys spend their own money and, and it, it's an investment in the business. 
you know, th th this is something I just want to add because you made me think of it. Is like when you send physical packages out to people, when you get attention, when you're doing the prospecting, when you're sending out material, creating content for people, you're you're literally building the business. You're building the brand, and you know, just you know, the ultimate thing I would say is like, stop thinking about one sale and start thinking about a business. You're going to be here in three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years. And when that time goes by, you're going to be faced with the fruits of your work in production or the lack thereof. So th this is why this is such a vital step. It's like, hey, what work am I doing today that allows me to be successful in the future? So guys, you, you've heard episode six. You know, normally we're talking about a lot of theories. This is strategy. We talked about steps to get people to show up on time. We talk about prospect and we talk about filling the pipeline. Matt, what do you got for these guys to bring us up? Well, show up to the webinar. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, we the quick call to action. But guys, seriously, like we put on these free webinars every month. And yeah. if you're having trouble setting appointments, a lot of times it's because someone's giving you an objection on that call or in person. Like, you know what? I'm good. Or we're not looking for this right now. Or it's a bad time or not interested. If you can handle that, to get to the appointment, it's important. Like these guys deal with, these guys deal with a ton of objections even before they get into the ability to set an appointment. Mm -hmm. So you, if you run into any of that, you, objections in the beginning before the appointment's even set, you gotta get on this webinar. We're gonna cover every single uh, objection handle there is, no matter where it is in the sale. Maybe it's in the beginning, maybe it's in the middle, maybe it's in the end, negoti where, negotiation, closing, wherever it is. This webinar's free, the value is insane. It's Grant's key material on mastering objections. Completely free webinar. If you want all the goodies, you can buy them, but you don't have to. Yeah. Morgan's going to be dropping fire. It's on Wednesday, June 29th at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Show up, bring, get your notes. Mm. If you have a sales team, bring them to it. I'm telling you, just from taking notes on this one webinar, you're going to be able to get some sales from it. You're going to be able to call customers back and be like, handle their objections, handle their concerns. It'll get you some deals if you actually put the material into practice. So mm -hmm. show up to that webinar next week. We'll be back on Tuesday. But that's my final sign off. Boom. Hey, thanks guys for tuning in. 10X Titans, episode number six. We'll see you guys next week for lucky number seven. See you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in, guys.